Hey everyone, Allie Smith. We're gonna do a 2023 in the bag. Start us off, we're gonna go with our high speed drivers. Usually my go-to's off the tee for max distance. I've got the Torrent, the first flight Torrent, but um, they're ranging in different stabilities. These are gonna be my go-to um, bomber discs. I'm gonna get like a full S flight if I'm throwing them flat and hard. Um, almost 400 feet of distance for me in, in these two. This one is super stable, haven't hardly thrown it, um, but I like to have my discs in groups of two or three to have ranging stabilities. If I need a little different, maybe it's a little, a little windier or I need a little less wind, I've got two different Hurricanes. I've got a Team Stamp PL, it's pretty much brand new, very overstable for me, and then a 2020 Shasta Hurricane. That's very seasoned beat in. I think Ben gave it to me, shout out to the Ben Sorensen. Gave me that one. So those are gonna be my five kind of go-to distance drivers. And I've got two maybe utility drivers. I don't use them as much. They're a bit touchier, a little more understable discs in the Tempest, a uh, high speed, but uh, pretty flippy flight numbers there, negative three, two. And then the Sail, very understable disc. Um, usually gonna turn over out of the right hand, backhand for me. Those are backhand discs, touchy, trying to figure them out, but I can definitely throw very far with the Tempest if I hit that line right. Moving on to what I'd probably throw the most of would be my fairway drivers. I've got a lot of them. It's, it's the majority of my bag here. Starting with the most stable, most overstable, I've got the PL Swirl Limited Edition Bonsai. They're very stiff, very firm plastic. Um, I love throwing these backhand and forehand. About 300, 325 uh, fairway shot. I throw them off the tee a lot sometimes um, if it's a shorter par three. Um, great for forehand, they, they really hold the torque resistance. Again, for me, I'm holding them in a least stable to most overstable for my bag. And then I go to probably, I think everyone's maybe said this, their favorite disc is the pipeline. I got five different ones. Ooh. Five different um, pipelines ranging in different stabilities. We've got the Flex here, it's got a SP Flex. Very stable for a run of pipelines. They, they almost always consistently fade at the end, but flat and hard and straight going out of the hand. And new to my bag in the last maybe month or so is the Shasta Chris 2022 pipeline. Um, they are pretty flippy. For my arm speed though, they are the perfect straight flying fairway driver. Exactly what I need. Um, I can hold it, I can throw it on a hyzer, it'll hold that hyzer and finish. I could throw it on an anhyzer and it will hold a turnover. Um, been a great disc, great addition to my bag. Um, I finally found kind of like a replacement for this one that Tyler Brickley gave to me my first time ever meeting him. Throwing DGA plastic, super flippy. I wouldn't even call this a pipeline at this point. Um, so I'm glad I've found these to kind of replace that or have a fill in the bag. And um, most understable, Katrina's Vortex. I like the Proto. Um, I think it's the most understable. I honestly don't throw it for rollers. Uh, I don't have a roller in my arsenal yet. Um, but for this, this disc is I can throw it on an extreme amount of hyzer and it's gonna go straight and still probably finish to the right. Great woods disc um, and, and a great, I think Katrina said, kind of you can throw it like a mid-range and it flies like a fairway or a, a driver. You can really lower your power and, and find more distance with this disc. Um, I this really taught me to throw a solid backhand. I used to be a forehand dominant player. Really helped me with my backhand. Uh, moving to mid-ranges, I only have two in the bag right now. It's it's a PL Rift. I've got a, an understable one from uh, Andy's. I think they're a fundraiser disc, Marweed's um, Rift. Really like that. It's almost always gonna turn over unless I'm throwing it on a hyzer. And then a newer, um, little more stable, still pretty straight flying, neutral mid-range in the PL Rift. Love those discs. And moving to my, I guess, approach disc slash putters. I've got two approach, um, very overstable. I throw these mostly forehand. Um, the first flight quake, most overstable quake that we have for right now. I think we've got a few coming out that are gonna match this and maybe make the make the bag in place of this. Maybe the Austin Turner's new one or Noah Meitzma's tour, 2023 tour series. Um, for a little less speed, I like to go with the breaker. This PL is pretty brand new. Um, I throw it mostly on a forehand. It holds a lot of torque for me and the way I throw my touch breaker shots, um, but I throw it backhand as well if I need a little bit more stability. My preferred breaker shot though, 
is going to be the DL breaker. I have two currently in the bag. This one's pretty understable. It's been in the bag since 22. Um, it almost always turns over. Can't hardly throw this unless I know I want it to be very straight, short shot, or turnover. And a, and a newer one, it's gonna be a little more straight to a little stable. Um, out, fresh out of the box, these DLs are very stable. So be aware of that. You're gonna check them, check them out. They are stable to start off, so beat them in if you want a little more straight flight. And lastly, the money makers, well, hopefully the money makers are the putters. I only have two, I just use two, one in each hand when I'm putting, stone steady. I do like the bead, I've got more of like a, a lofty push putt, so that finger on that bead really is a comfortability aspect for me. Um, I like it in the firmer plastic. These are from last year, I haven't put new ones in the bag, I think I'll just keep rocking these till I don't like them anymore. But. That's what's in my bag. Thanks for watching. If you want any of these fabulous discs, check them out at discgolf.com.